Welcome to my kitchen. Here I am in my happy place. Um, as you can see, I started without you. Um, I posted last night, yesterday afternoon, I posted a bloom pour on Facebook and it created a lot of comments and questions and I just, I forgot how fun they were to do and I, I just, yeah, it was super fun to do it. It was super fun to get all your feedback. So we're going to do another one, but we're going to break it down a little bit slower. My base coat tonight is Beauty Tone Paint um, by Home Hardware. It's in a velvet sheen. The only thing I've done to it is add a tiny bit of water, but it works directly out of the can. I just prefer it a little bit thinner. And so what I found with working with the Beauty Tone Paint is that if I stuck to Beauty Tone products, they all work well together. So I developed my pouring medium a little bit different. I've stopped using the Ultra Deep Base. So I'm now using this, which is Beauty Tone Signature Series Semi Gloss Clear Base. No color. I use that and Jasmine Wax Poly Acrylic and that's it. So I've eliminated one product being the Ultra Deep Base as long as I use the Beauty Tone Base Coat. If I switch, it doesn't necessarily work. So my paints are mixed pretty much one on one with pouring medium. If they're a little thick like this this was Payne's gray it was a little bit thick because it was a heavy body I just add a little bit of polyacrylic and water so there we go Payne's gray and my second favorite color raw umber I know you're all thinking Ew, what 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 is she doing okay this is modern masters rose gold very pretty. I was pretty happy with the Modern Masters paint that I used last night. It's lovely. And this one, we're going to give it a quick stir. And it's a little thick, so we're just going to put a splash of... I'm just going to use water. This is the Pabio Iridescent Red Blue. Why they call it that, I do not know. We're going to put a dot there and we're going to put some burnt orange, also Modern Masters burnt orange. So why I'm one painting ahead of you isn't because I did something and I wasn't willing to share. It was because I started to pour like this and I added my lime, but I forgot that my lime was mixed for these super fluid pours. So it just all sank in and disappeared. So now I have added some pouring medium to the same line that I always use and I'm hoping that it works but there's no guarantee obviously okay black soul mix my friends same black soul mix I always use I will write the description out okay this is just my cloud mix so we're gonna add some dots but we're just gonna add a little bit in there and see what happens okay here we go oh let's torch the bubbles Okay, we're going to give this a second and let our center pop up and then we are going to modify, uh, modify our bloom, you guys. Modify, so a little bit of paint there, just take it out. So my favorite modifying tool has always been these and they're nothing more than plastic party kebab sticks. I get them at the dollar store. They're like a buck fifty for, I don't know, 150 of them. So here we go, and then we're just going to dissect this. We're going to go through this, and just like that, we're going to go through this bloom. We're going to take it apart, and we're going to modify. Going to go to the left, the right, and you're going to just 
make some lines in it and don't be afraid the best way to learn is just to do it and if you mess it up well you know what it is only paint you guys you can dump it off and start again we're going to lose a lot of this because i have a lot of paint on here more so than normal um i'm out of practice you guys so that's it we're going to just tip it and move it and move the paint around if you want the paint to come off of this corner and you're in it's stuck like i want it to come off this so you're going to tip it to the opposite corner and let the paint do the work so the weight of your paint is down here you're going to turn it and tip it the other way that's that's the best thing is always let the paint do your work you know i don't necessarily want full coverage i am a negative space gal for sure so i'm just going to touch up my corners and we're just going to keep moving this around until we find a composition that we're happy with and then always back to center not necessarily dead center but some form of center so that things don't look kind of distorted the word i'm trying to find and my it sucks getting old you guys i can't find words i come home with groceries and hand them off to somebody and say here put them in the uh the um the um oh shit that white thing over there that keeps our food cold because i i lose the words okay let's do this so let's pull out all the stops let's take our fancy modifying tool and we're just going to go in and make some more little just little lines you can add sort of petals yeah just go for it you guys you guys can do this it's easy when you get the consistency consistency is killer you gotta have your consistency right so in my old pores, I took our fancy kebab stick and I would put it in a line with lots of contrast and just make some little swirls. And it just adds a little bit of visual interest to your piece. It gives it sort of that fun, funky, lacy edges. And you know what? It just kind of, it just makes it your own. Works best with contrasting lines, guaranteed. Uh, you can do it. I do it on the edges. You can do it in through the middle. You can do it wherever you want. It is your piece, you guys. So this kind of definitely gives these floral blooms that, that sort of orchid look. Yeah, they're quite pretty. I, I would choose to have a little more negative space, but I don't. So... Find an orientation. That's your other thing. Find an orientation that appeals to you before you start modifying. Because sometimes what you see on one side doesn't look as good as what you could see on the other. So always just flip it around. Turn your piece around. I want it to add some little dots, but I don't really want to overkill it. Because it's quite pretty the way it is. So we might just leave this here. And just a reminder... That we can all do this we can do it together you know what i'm an open book you guys i've said this over and over and over again i have no problems answering any questions you guys might have helping with recipes whatever need be to try to sort of get this sorted out for everybody so you know what don't hesitate to ask i get lots of people that say this is a stupid question and you know what they say the only stupid question is a question not asked because you don't learn if you don't step up and say hey how do you do that and then sometimes you'll be saying to yourself oh that was so dumb of course that's how you do that but you know what at the time you just draw a blank and that is okay so you guys this is super pretty i'm gonna leave this here i am gonna do another piece and we'll try to add some dots because in my last piece i had some little hearts that everybody really liked and i'll show you how i do that on the next piece but let's have a look at this very shimmery very metallic uh beautiful cells in the center it's hard for you guys to see the shimmer and here is all our just little details guys just adds visual interest to your piece 
you guys got this. It's only paint. We can all do this. We can do it together. You know what? You guys are awesome. Thank you everybody for reaching out and supporting me and encouraging me. It's wonderful. It's so fun to wake up and have all your questions and comments. You guys are the best. Thanks so much for following me. Thanks for coming and painting with me tonight. Poor happy guys. Stay safe and we'll talk really, really soon.